It is not news that Nigeria is grappling with many security challenges in all six geopolitical zones, ranging from terrorism to farmers' health clashes, kidnapping, armed robbery, and armed banditry. These and many more challenges call for a more robust security sector in Nigeria. At this gathering of military officers, the Chief of Defence Staff agrees that there is the need for a security sector reform. Obvious gaps in the nation's security architecture, such as transfer of authority in the internal security situation, inadequacy of response and early warning mechanism, are traceable to limitation of doctrine and coordination of command and control among the leadership of the military, police, and other security agencies. Thus, an all-inclusive security sector reform involving the military, paramilitary, and other stakeholders is expedient. More emphasis will be on improving strategic communication and information share to facilitate effective coordination of cooperation for a robust national security awareness. As part of the reforms, the defense chief is also calling for the use of non-kinetic means of influence operations and perception management as part of military interventions in tackling insecurity. No bullet or bomb can eradicate an ideology. Thus, security services need to be educated on the necessity to embrace information technology for counter-terrorism operations. Additional training in areas like psychological operations and perception management, hacking and computer instructions, instructions, encryption, decryption will be essential as future conflict will be fought in the information domain. It is no doubt a tough time for security agencies in the country. Adhering to the advice of the Chief of Defense Staff may be a step in the right direction to tackling the many security challenges in the country. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.